Hi guys, welcome to our Locker Craft program. Today I'm going to show you two different crafts to get your locker school ready and looking amazing. The first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is make washi tape clothespins. I have the supply list right here. You're gonna need clothespins, washi tape, magnetic strip, and the bling is optional. And this first craft is very easy, very fun. Now some of these supplies you might not have on hand. So what I decided to do is create what I call a grab and go or a teen grab and go just for teens. So if you really like this craft and maybe you don't have clothespins or washi tape laying around the house, I'm going to put all of these supplies together for you and just stop in the library, grab your kit. You have everything that you need to make your washi tape clothespins. So we will get started. First thing we're gonna do is take our, our clothespin and choose washi tape to cover it. I have a lot of varieties here and I think I'll use this one. If you've never used washi tape before, it's practically the same thing as tape, except it's it has a cool design on one end, or one side rather, and then a sticky side. Uh, when you, you're just gonna decorate one part or one, one side of your clothespin. Washi tape is super easy to use. It's sticky. And basically all you have to do is what I'm doing here. Um, flatten the washi tape up against your clothespin. Washi tape tears real easily. So you don't even need scissors. And it also folds easily. So if the width of the washi tape um, oftentimes it is wider than the clothespin. If that's the case, you just fold it down around the clothespin. And if you want a really nice cut, you can grab a pair of scissors. Just cut it like that. And fold the washi tape around all the edges so they look really neat. Just like this. And that's all there is to it. But how are we gonna make these magnetized? Well, I'm going to give you, or if you have it at home, some magnetic strip, which I have been using in all my crafts lately. I just love this stuff. You don't even, you don't need a whole lot. Um, maybe even just a half, half an inch, I'd say will suffice. Give it a cut. And then on the back side of your clothespin, you will apply it. Magnetic strip has a sticky side and then the magnetic side, and it's super sticky, the, the sticky side. Something too that I've noticed is the magnetic tape that I've been using is uh, wider than the width of the clothespin. So if you cut it down the middle, it fits better. And pretty much this is the amount that you need. You wanna press it on there pretty tight Sometimes it pops up a little bit. So if you press it down, that will um, just give it a good, you know, hold it even for you know several seconds. If you want, you can put another piece. We've got some extra here, so we can put another piece here just to make sure that it's gonna be sticky. But you really don't need that much at all. And if you happen to have bling lying around your house, and if you don't, I will put some in each of the kits that I'm going to give out. You can add that bling to the front. And I've got some here. So some gems. You might want to pick some that match or don't match, however you want to do it. You can put those on to add some more fun to your magnetic or to your washi tape clothespins. Oh, this one's not so sticky. Let's see. I'll try another one. These are nice because they have adhesive, these jewels have adhesive back, so they're super easy to work with. You don't have to apply any glue or anything. So we'll just put that in the clothespin. And you are ready to go. And again, you can make lots of these. You can give them out as gifts, give them to your mom because you know she's gonna wanna put all your papers and all your pictures up on the refrigerator. And you can take a look at that. If you want to add more here to the sides, you can. But again, a very simple craft, 
and very fun, easy to do. So that is all for the washi tape clothespins. Is all for the washi tape clothespins. So our second locker craft are these adorable emoji magnets. And like the washi tape clothespins, they are super easy and fun. So the supplies that you will need to make these are your wooden circles, glue, magnetic rounds, permanent markers or paint markers, and a Sharpie, unless you have a, you know, a black permanent marker, which is essentially the same thing as a Sharpie. And um, again, as with the washi tape clothespins, you might not have all these things lying around your house. So I am going to create a kit for you. And if you want to do this craft, come into the library, grab your kit, and I will have all the supplies in there for you. So let's get started. The first thing you need is this handy dandy wooden round. And what I had, I didn't have paint markers, but I have permanent markers. So I'm gonna use the first step is, and I'm actually gonna get a piece of paper so I don't color on the table. I'm gonna give this a good layer of yellow coloring. If you have paint markers, you know, I, I feel like that might create more of a deeper, you know, hue, yellow hue. But if you don't, I think this works just as well. Just gonna color that in to the sides or the edges as well if you want. You don't really have to do anything to the back because that's where you're gonna put your magnet. If you're using the paint instead of the marker, you'll have to wait for it to dry before you add the, um, the, the eyes and the nose or the heart or whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'm gonna do a super easy emoji expression. The surprised expression. So we need, I'm gonna take my Sharpie, or again, if you have a permanent black marker, I'm gonna do the eyebrows. The X's, X is for eyes and a big surprised mouth, big circle. So cute and so easy. Then what you wanna do, again, to make it mag magnetized, I have these, uh, these magnetic rounds. The ones that I have, though, are not it is sticky on the back side like the sticky tape. Now, if, or the magnetic tape, you could also use magnetic tape for this, but I thought the rounds would be handy because they would just go on there super easy. So what I'm gonna do is get the glue, and you don't need any special glue, really. I think Elmer's glue would work just fine. If you have a glue gun, I mean, glue, gun is, glue guns really are uh, very adhesive, so they're stronger than um, Elmer's. I have tacky glue. It might be a little stronger than Elmer's, but again, I don't think you really need anything. Um, you don't have to be crazy with the glue. It's um, any glue that you might have at home. It's not a glue stick. You would need like an Elmer's glue or a white glue of some sort. Just a little dot and then you're gonna put your magnetic circle on the back. Push it down pretty hard. And let it dry. And then your end result is gonna be these guys. I showed you at the beginning. These will dry pretty quickly. So I just think these are super adorable and they're super easy. Um, and yes, yeah, so I will put all the supplies that you need in your kit for you. And I really hope that you enjoyed watching this and I hope that you get to go back to school and decorate your lockers. And if not, you know, decorate your room or your refrigerator. You can definitely use these for something. Like I always say, give them away as gifts. Miss you guys. Hope you'll come in and say hi. Have a great day.